All right, y'all, so really, really awesome day today. I finally just got the new Beaver Fit Hitch Fit system in. Uh, if you guys have followed me from the very beginning, uh, you should be aware of this particular piece of equipment because it was the original mobile fitness equipment hitch fit that I purchased to start my business, to embark out on my own as a, as a, strong, a strength conditioning coach, as a personal trainer. And I knew that I needed the right equipment to be mobile, to be flexible. So really I, I have to say that the hitch fit was absolutely one of the first pieces of equipment that I invested in to start my business and start this entire concept of mobile, deployable, innovative, efficient, effective, uh, equipment driven and education driven content. So Beaver Fit, thank you guys so, so much. You heard my story about the original hitch fit that I had and you sent it out and you replaced it. And, and that story alone is just amazing. Uh, when COVID hit, the hitch fit was one of the, the few pieces of equipment that I had to keep my business up and running. I left the gym that I was renting from and began an entirely new fitness concept, outdoors, open air, fitness, health, and wellness in South Florida. There were no other gyms open at the time because COVID had just hit. So it also became social distancing friendly and maskless training outdoors. So that was really the principle that we followed. And then the really crazy part was uh, I was in a rainstorm sitting at a traffic light and a guy barreled into me, just blasted me, probably going 50, 60 miles an hour. And it was because of my hitch fit sitting on the back of my hitch on my truck that I was able to keep my business up and running, that my truck wasn't completely totaled. The hitch fit took the brunt of that hit. Even though it got destroyed, I was able to salvage some of those parts and, uh, and keep that hitch fit alive in my training uh, facility on the farm that I'm at now, the off the grid facility. And, uh, and it was again, because of that story that Beaver Fit actually uh, replaced it for me so that we could tell that story and, and how crucial and critical this piece of equipment was to telling my story and to uh, keeping my business up and running. And for any trainers out there, any strength conditioning coaches out there who do wanna have that training option, I originally bought mine just to keep my own training going on early mornings and on weekends uh, because my gym wasn't open early enough. So that was the original purpose of my hitch fit. And it gives me the option to train in my driveway or train in my parking spot. So I'm gonna unbox this hitch fit. We're gonna get it set up. Again, thank you so much Beaver Fit for replacing my original hitch fit with this new beast of a system. I'm so excited to have this thing. So let's check out this unboxing here. Alrighty, so right out of the gate, let's go ahead and crack this guy open. I am not kind to boxes. All they do is keep me away from the thing I'm trying to get to. So, but I do want to be kind to the hitch fit here because it is going to be in really nice shape. So let's crack her open here. All right, so right out of the gate here, you're gonna see we got our, we've got our uprights. Major, major upgrade from the original iteration of a hitch fit that I originally purchased. That's not saying anything against mobile fitness equipment, the original company that made it, but um, they were bought by Beaver Fit and now they're working together to help the uh, America's Finest, the U.S. Army and military to uh, outfit their equipment systems. So uh, we're all aligned into the same purpose of helping our military forces to make the world a better place. So for the sake of time here, we opened up the other box. We got our J-hook system, which is pretty similar to the original mobile fitness equipment system that was there. You see everything's kind of padded and protected in there so it's not getting all beat up during the shipping process. Let's get all the foam. We got even these little protective sticker pads in between each one to make sure that they're not getting dinged up, bouncing around in there. All the different hardware, that's awesome. Even got some uh, beaver fit straps remains to be seen what those are for that's a first for me but really sweet logo on there all of our hardware 
square here. Really awesome is the logo there on the plate. And our pull-up bar, that is gonna be sweet. So we got our owner's manual here. You can see that that right there is how the system is supposed to look. So that's what we're gonna build it into. So we're gonna go ahead and get these bolts through here. Put that bad boy in. So it's just two bolts here to get this tightened in. I'm gonna hand tighten those now and then I'll re-tighten them with a wrench later. Right, so this one's pretty clear in the instructions, but I think you just wanna make sure that you're getting it right. Make sure that the tall side right, is the one that is you know, headed inward there. So pretty straightforward. Nothing crazy as far as set up here. Super easy. Again, you got this sort of tall section here. That's the one that's gonna be on side there you'll see that really both of these open ends are facing right to the left there so that's what you want to make sure to lock in what I've gone through come up the way I have in my training in my work overall and this beast coming full circle for me was just icing on the cake I cannot tell you how fun this process has been all right, so you can see here I got the main hitch portion of the hitch fit set up here. That's going to go into the hitch of the truck. And then the uprights, when they're put away, they're going to rest on those portions there. And then these pins hold everything in place and keep it all pinned together. So let's get it hooked up into the hitch. So you can see this is the hitch pin that uh, is provided with the system. All right. I actually have a locking hitch pin uh, myself because people do like to steal things in South Florida so uh, I'd recommend getting one that you can lock with a key so that no one grabs your hitch fit and runs off with it but uh, that's just me so we're gonna get the uprights set up here you can see that the uh, the sort of sharp end here needs to fit into there so you see you want the squares here aligned so that those can fix into each other perfectly lined up and that's where they're gonna go and then we can see here that pull-up bar fits into here pretty well aligned so you can see this here for the different uprights that we've got the ability, we're gonna put the lock to the inside, right, the bolt to the inside, and we have these wheel locks to lock that into place. That's gonna make it really nice and snug for that upright. Same thing on this side, right? Put the bolt on the inside, wheel lock on the outside, nice and tight. Upright is locked in place, and we have these for actually locking it into place on the hitch itself. Here, we're just going to slip this pin in here, lock that bad boy on the back. That's going nowhere fast. Same thing on the other side, slide it down and in, lock it into place. Uprights are ready to install. All right, so our uprights are set up. Let's get this thing locked into place. Really solid positioning there. So you can see for my own safety here, I got this locked in already. We're gonna go ahead and screw these guys in. Get that positioning right. That fits right into Another one of the holes there. Let's 
locked in. It is not going anywhere. So you can see we've got our four safety pins there with the locking wheel bolt. Same thing on the other side. And voila, the entire hitch fit is fully engaged on the bed of my truck. So it's pretty sweet, super, super sturdy design. Let's put the J hooks in just so you can see those. I don't have a squat bar with me right now. Right there, another on this side. She's evenly set up. I've already tightened everything up. It's ready to go, nice and solid. There's actually two different height settings for the pull-up bar. This beast is rock solid. Not going anywhere. Pretty sweet. Super strong. That thing's not going anywhere. And that's how you set up your hitch fit. We're going to put it into the uh, de-installed mode. Pull it apart so it's in storage mode on the back of the hitch. So check this out. So you can see here that it's the perfect distance for the bed of my truck. I can open the bed up and still have the bar fully engaged. Let's uh, pull this thing apart and put it into its deployment mode so it can, uh, it can go wherever it needs to go and travel with me here. So again, for the sake of time here, I've just pretty much reversed the installation process. So pulling all the pins apart, pulling all the bolts out and getting it set up to go in its deployment mode where we can easily mobilize it and move it to wherever it needs to go. Basically, you want all the circular holes aligned on this left side and then the uh, pointed extensions and the square holes that lock everything into place when you do have it in the uh, uh, assault mode. Um, to the right side here with the crossbar in front locked between the two pin areas here. So basically makes it very easy to lock everything in place. And we're gonna use the safety pins through each of these holes. Right, lock it in place and well worth having now a mobile squat rack system if you just want to get a quick workout in outdoors. So I'm going to pin the pull up bar in on top on this side. So you can see here we got our beaver fit safety strap here. You got to lock that in to this square edge. You're going to slide the lift pin in first lock it into place, you'll hear that click. It does the same thing on the back side where, again, it's an adjustable strap. So you're gonna slide it in on the back side first. Back side, front side, that's locked in. And then we just pull the straps here. That's nice and solid. That's not going anywhere. So again, you see, Pull the flex pin there, that's going to go in first. Hear the click. Adjust the strap so we can put this on the back side. Pull the pin. Pin first, she's locked in. And your hitch fit is not going anywhere now. So there you have it. Fully installed from setup to assault mode for our workout and deployment mode for mobilization, taking it to and from location to location. This thing is absolutely rock solid. Such an awesome piece of equipment. Again, thank you so much Beaver Fit. All right y'all, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, sweaty installation tutorial here. We've got our Beaver Fit Hitch Fit system. It's in its deployment mode as opposed to the assault mode. That's what I'm going to start calling them uh, for workouts versus mobilizing this beast to go where it needs to go. It's coming with me to the farm, so make sure to check out some of the workouts that we have. Head over to beaverfitusa.com 
to check out the hitch fit as well as the trailer fit systems and then all the other systems that beaver fit has available but this thing is one sweet piece of equipment it is sturdy as all heck i'm super super pleased with the improvements that have been made here thank you so much make sure you get damn strong and live kinetically